Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. Customer states they tried fixing their tire, but it still leaks. The customer tried using screws and duct tape to stop the leak. Customer states they have a fuel leak from the rear differential. The customer just installed an auxiliary fuel tank and had it connected to the vent hose on the rear differential instead of the fuel tank. When this vehicle came in for a service, the technician noticed an awful smell inside of this car and a rotted pumpkin on the back seat. Customer states, a washy noise. This customer came in as they have a bad vibration and burn and smell after driving into a ditch. The technician found all of this grass stuck underneath this truck and around the drive shaft. Customer states they just installed a custom lift kit to fit 28 inch wheels on the car and want an alignment. They welded their plate on the strut. The bolts are welded into the knuckle and they said they wanted an alignment. And this customer came in as they said they have a slight vibration at highway speeds. The technician said he almost crashed it on the test drive and advised the customer it was not safe to drive and should be towed away and the customer ended up driving it away. How is this guy going to see anything? Customer states their car sounds like a violin finding key when driving. Customer states the car won't accelerate and the check engine light is on. When the technician asks about this, the customer said he saw this on a Prius form on how to do a DIY K&N filter upgrade using ATF. And this customer came in as they said they installed new head gaskets but their vehicle still does not start. The technician found that the customer installed the intake camshaft where the exhaust camshaft should be. He also mentioned the timing was off and the customer jump started the vehicle backwards and fried the smart key module. Wonder why it won't start. The engine in this customer's diesel truck is seized as it's only had a couple of oil changes in 28,000 miles. And there's 2,800 engine hours on the engine and 2,400 of them are idle hours. When this vehicle came in to get a clutch installed, the technician noticed it had quite the custom exhaust that was modified to fit underneath the drive shaft. When this vehicle came in for a service, the technician notified the customer their oil pan was dented in. The customer said they didn't hit anything and it should be covered under warranty. This clip was shared with us by a viewer of his 1999 Volkswagen Beetle that has an LS4 and its front wheel drive. I hope you enjoyed this video and please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.